I'm Julia from YBA. For the past few years, I've been coming to the YBA training studios once a week or so. I'm so excited that now I'll be able to practice my broadcast skills with YBA Online. The new course has so much more than what we have learned at the studio. You can practice your delivery by recording a video with a simple click. You can even use a teleprompter to practice reading off that. I learned about the history of the industry and some of the greatest names in the business. You know what though? It was really a lot of fun. And there are some really funny videos, like the one of Jimmy Young doing his crazy warm-up exercises. The next thing we want you to do is actually stretch the facial muscles in your face, which is a good place for facial muscles. Or the one from Friends, and of course, all those crazy tongue twisters. Betty Botter bought a bit of butter. The butter Betty Botter bought was a bit bitter. And made her batter bitter. But a bit of better butter bought batter better. So Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter, making Betty Botter's bitter batter better. Best of all, though, I can practice my writing and reading from home on my schedule. And I can get coaching from one of the many professional broadcasters on staff. YBA Online allows me to learn by doing the job of a broadcaster every day if I want to. And you will have all the tools. For now, I'm Julia reporting about YBA Online. Welcome back to YBA Today. I'm Lane Sutton and I'm here with Sophia and Jimmy Myers. Jimmy Myers is a longtime media personality of Boston, ESPN, and New York. We're also joined via Skype by no, Katie. Technical Skype. So just talk to Jimmy. We, we have an oh. interview with Jimmy now. Um, oh, no technical Skype from the mountain? I wanted no. to see the girls skiing. <laughs> what, what's going on? Do they fall off the skis? Who knows? We'll figure yeah. it out. <laughs> Maybe we'll join them later. Right. Well, Jimmy, could you tell us a little bit about your career and how you yeah. got started? Well, I always wanted to be a broadcaster. Um, my, from the time I was about your age, but there was nothing like YBA. Uh, so what I did was I learned about the, the whole sports field by watching television, by, by studying the people that were doing this for a living and knowing what they were going to do and how they were going to do it. And I just got fascinated with TV. When I was coming, when I was your age, a long time ago, TV was only about that big. <laughs> and the screens were real small. It was black and white. No, no pun on words. Black and white, <laughs> not color. Wow. And I came through that era, but I was fascinated by it, Sophia and Lane. I, I just, it's, it's, I, knew, I knew this is something. The first time I ever looked in that box, I said, Oh, this is great. There's a person inside there. So constantly I was running behind the TV to see if they were really behind my TV instead of in the TV. But that, that fascination right from the beginning to see someone there looking professional, speaking and so forth, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I hear there were only three channels. <laughs> you, you had to remind me of that, didn't you? Yes, the three network affiliates were CBS, NBC, and ABC. Wow. There were only three channels. And then UHF came in and gave you maybe five or six channels. But we didn't have anything like you guys have. 140, 160, 3,000 channels. No, 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 nothing like that. No. And so I hear. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, we, do we have, did we find them? I, I think we found them. Go ahead. So Katie and Ellie Berger are hello, joining hello. us from Waterville Valley, New Hampshire, and they're skiing today. Katie and Ellie, can you tell us what's happening there? It's a beautiful. Hey, Lane, it's amazing out here. The snow is coming down so hard. Katie, isn't it amazing? It's really cool. It's kind of windy, but the conditions are great. It's like skiing in powder. Wow. It's awesome. It's technology. I love technology. See, it has a hello. use. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Go ahead. The snow seems to be coming almost diagonal to us. And it is hurting so much when you're skiing, as you can see now. There's definitely some stuff But this stuff is real live out. television. It's very cold out here, but very nice. How long have been there? You guys are lucky you're somewhere warm. Yeah. You're lucky you're somewhere where it's snowing. <laughs> How long Actually, have you been there? Take a look at these trails. The conditions are amazing. I don't even know if it's set for the it. snow. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. It's so crowded over here, but it's definitely worth it. It's an amazing trip. How long have you been there? Um, we this, ju we just drove up this morning, and we're gonna be we're gonna leave tomorrow afternoon. 
So it's just kind of like staying overnight. Cool. Wow. How much snow has been coming down and when did it start? Well, it seems that there's been um, definitely about eight inches accumulating, as you can see on this bench. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good view that's or whatever, lot. but. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> eight inches. About eight inches is starting to accumulate. There should be more coming. Um, definitely a big snowstorm on our hands. I'm not sure if you guys will get a piece of that. Wow. Here it's what? raining. Well, you know, <laughs> better than up here. It's freezing up here. I can barely feel my fingers. <laughs> but you are a professional. See, you are weathering the elements to give us a live report. Do you know how important that is? <laughs> We are doing. Yes, yes. Do you have any idea the significance of what you're doing? We actually see you and your little frozen noses and so forth. <laughs> Red faces. Woo, I can't see. Tell me about, t tell me something. Now, you both did weather reports when you were here during the week. Now you're doing real weather. What's it like now? Oh, oh real weather. Us. That's what happens with real weather. Up the back. It's definitely real. Um, <laughs> it doesn't get more real than this, trust me. <laughs> it's, it feels good, you know. Woo, right here, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is the favorite well, part of that time period that you're in right now? Snowing. Well, our favorite part of the snow is getting able, um, being able to ski. We are a big skiing family, so this is definitely a lot of fun for us. And it's like skiing powder right now, so it's great. Um, what was your best time at YBA this week? What did you think about Our it? best time at YBA this yep. week? How can we choose one? This is an impossible task. It was, I think it was just really fun going in front of the camera and getting critique. And it was really fun. The whole thing, meeting everyone, it was really fun. Just being able to use stuff that professionals use, like teleprompters and green screens. It was an amazing experience. Well, Can't choose part, one favorite thing this week. <laughs> well, the best part is now we have two more professional anchors out there. See? Ladies, please be safe exactly. up there. That's it. Yeah. Be safe. Take Bye, care. Bye, Katie and Ellie. Us. Have fun. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Thank you. Gosh, they're great. That is Well, I wanted to ask you one more question, Did somebody Jimmy. let me do that at that age? <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't have got me off the camera. Cut, cut, cut. So I'd have kept, go. kept going. That is wonderful. Well, Thanks. I hear that you have had, like, so many brothers and sisters growing up. How was it like nine. for you? I had nine, nine. other brothers wow. and sisters, yes. It was... It, a very interesting question, Sophia, because we were all very high energy people, like you, uh, <laughs> bouncing all over the place. I, I think the thing that really got to me was I wondered how my mother and father dealt with all of us. And they did. They found a way to do it. But television was an instrument there. Once We still had to do all our homework and everything. But television became that entertainment center for us that we all got fascinated into it. Everybody, there was something on television for everybody that we liked. For the girls, they like this. For the guys, they like this. Now, the hard part became fighting for television time. Oh, try to imagine that one. And I was the only one who really liked sports, so my mother had to actually block out time for me to watch television. Now, the whole issue was if I got up and left my seat, I lost television. So I had to sit there for like two hours. The game's on. You better not move. And I see all my brothers and sisters behind me. If he moves, we get the seat. He's not getting it back. So if I move, they come up. He's out of the seat, man. I learned to sit right there. I'm going to be here for four hours if I have to watch it again. <laughs> wow. And now also, I know you're not so technology savvy. I happen to be, and I really Thank find you. great use. Thank you. You're my newfound friend. <laughs> I have nothing to worry about. I am techno ignorant. You are techno genius. So you'll bring me along. You'll teach me. Because I saw you little, I saw time, I saw time up for technology. Coming up later. Yeah. Well, see, I, I don't, it, it, I wasn't raised in that era, Lane. That, that's the whole thing. I came up in a different era. We did not have computers. We did not have uh, iPhones, iPads. All of that stuff be is, is new. I mean, it's very hard to teach an older person something that's new. For me, a phone is good enough. If I hear a voice and I can talk to someone, that's great. But you guys are texting and you can see the other person's face on the phone and you want, no, no, no. Now that's a bit much for me. But the technology part, you're going to make me better at it because you're going to make me want to do it more.
Well, sounds interesting. My grandparents also have the same opinion with that, but they find great uses for it too. Like, mm -hmm. uh, he has an iPhone also, my grandpa, and Did so do I. There's hope for me? There's <laughs> yeah, hope for me? Oh, there is. Yes, so, I'm going for it. So we can FaceTime each other and see each other. So I can be at home, we were on vacation somewhere, and I was able to hold, hold the phone in front of me, and we could talk to each other, and I could see my grandparents. But do, do you both understand what a miraculous piece of technology that is for somebody like us, like your grandparents, like me. We never dreamed of anything like this. Now, whatever's going on now, you can't dream of what's going to be down the road when you get to be my age or older. And you're going to say, wow, we had this, but these kids had this. It's almost like you're able to transport your body from there to there. You want to be home, Grandma? I'm right here. <laughs> you want to go back? I'm going back. You can be jumping back and wow. forth by that time. I just think the, tech, the technology part of it, it's just phenomenal because you have all of these tools and I want you to use them because this is the beauty of YBA, being able to, for a whole week, did you ever read teleprompter before in your life? Did you um, ever Not sit before down? I came to this camp, no. That's what I'm saying. Did you ever sit down and write a script, learn how to deliver your script, be as natural in front of the camera? Now you sing and you perform and so forth, so it's easier for you. But for other people, as you can see, some of your colleagues and some of your fellow students, it's harder because they're not as comfortable in front of the camera. They have to work a little harder to see it work or to make it happen. But the longer you do it, remember what I told you the first day, you guys? Like, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become with it. And I hear that, um, well, you told us that if someone texts you, you're not going to respond. They have to call you. You want to hear their voice. Yes, that's true. You, you don't want to look at the words. You want to hear their voice. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, that's, that, that's just the way I was raised. I, I feel much more comfortable with human contact. That's one of the only drawbacks of this technology. Mm -hmm. It makes it more impersonal because you're not really talking to the person. And young people have a tendency to do that before they're willing to speak face to face like we are. See, you two don't have any problems with addressing, speaking to people. But of, some young people, they just hide behind it. Well, I'm just going to text. I'll just send a little text off. And that's, that's it. No. I mean, text, there's no technology that takes the place of human contact. It's still about human beings talking to human beings. And if we can get there and we can master that, then all the technology just becomes greater. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to see the future coming up in the in these devices. They take such a big part of our lives. Sometimes it becomes too much, as you're saying, yeah. and human contact is also so important. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Sophia and Jimmy, for joining us today. Um, we also have Laura Bloom, who's going to give us the scoop on some weird news today.